wanted to say 726, you could say it is 26 past 7. It just sounds a little bit weird because remember for precise times down to the very minute, you should just... Hi everyone, how was your day? My name is Catalin and there is never a better time than now to learn some English. So what could be more fitting than learning how to talk about the time? And as we say, time is of the essence. So let's get to it. The first way to tell the time, which is the easiest, is to just read out the numbers on your clock. So if your clock says this, you can say it is eight or it's eight. And if your clock says this, you can say it is 527. This way is the best way to give somebody a precise time. So if you want to tell somebody what the time is down to the very minute, then this is the way that you should use. Do remember though that if your clock says this, then we don't say 805, although that is reading out the numbers. We would say 805. The next way that you can tell the time is o'clock. And we use o'clock when it turns the hour. So if your clock says this, then it is eight o'clock. And if your clock says this, it is five o'clock. We don't use it for any time in between though. So you can't say that it is 8.30 o'clock. Another thing that you should remember about o'clock is that on the 24 hour clock, so the clock that goes from zero to 24, when it turns past 12 and it becomes 13, then we don't say 13 o'clock. Moving on, you can also use past and to to tell the time. From anywhere at the start of the hour to the 30 minute mark, that is when you use past. And from the 30 minute mark to the next hour, that is when you use to. For example, 8.05 could also be said as 5 past 8. And 8.50 could be said as 10 to 9. Generally, we use past and to with times that end either in a 5 or a 0. If you wanted to say 7.26, you could say it is 26 past 7. It just sounds a little bit weird because remember for precise times down to the very minute, you should just read out the numbers. 7.26 sounds much more natural. You can also use the words quarter and half with this structure. A quarter of an hour is of course 15 minutes. So when it is 8.15, you can say it is quarter past eight. And when it is 8.45, 15 minutes to nine, you can say that it is quarter to nine. Same with half. Half an hour is of course 30 minutes. So when it is 8.30, you can say it is half past eight. We don't ever say that it is half to a time though. So when it's 8.30, you can't call that half to nine. That's always half past eight. Now let's talk about some specific times of day. We'll start off in the very early morning. We first have dawn. Dawn is when the sun isn't quite up yet, but you're just getting the first light of the day. And then we have twilight. In twilight, the sun, you still can't see it, but this is when it is closer to the horizon. So you get all these beautiful oranges and pinks which light up the sky. And then sunrise, of course, when you first see the sun for the first time of day. Then later on in the day, when the sun is at the highest point in the sky, when it is 12 o'clock, that is noon or midday. Then of course, after that, we have afternoon, then evening, and then we come to sunset. After sunset, we have twilight again, and then after that is dusk. Dusk is basically the opposite of dawn, except it's not the first light of the day, it's the last light of the day. And then after that, when it's dark, it's of course nighttime, and then at 12 o'clock we hit midnight. And then we start all over again. So those are the names of all the specific times of day. One thing I do want to tell you before I go is that for the 12 hour clock, the clock that goes from zero to 12 and then to one, there will be two o'clocks of every hour. The way that we tell these o'clocks apart is by using AM and PM. AM is from midnight to 11.59 at midday. And then PM is from 12 o'clock midday to 11.59 at night. 
Okay, everyone, that is all for today. Now you should be a total whiz at telling the time in English. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or video suggestions, please leave them in the comments below or send me a message on my Instagram and Facebook. See you next time. Bye-bye.